In this segment, we'll show you how to assemble your new AgriFab ATV UTV cart. While assembling the cart, do not fully tighten any bolts until you are directed to do so. Finger tighten and then use one turn of a wrench only. After all the parts are assembled, all the hardware must be fully secured. Begin by placing the front trailer frame, part one, and the rear trailer frame, part two, upside down as shown. Then insert an M6 by 50 millimeter bolt, part K, with a small washer, part C, through the side. Next, loosely secure it with a small washer, part C, and an M6 nut, part F. Now repeat for the other side. Then insert an M6 by 65 mm bolt, part J, with a small washer, part C, through the bottom. Loosely secure it with a small washer, part C, and an M6 nut, part F. Then repeat for the other bottom hole. Now align an axle mounting plate and insert two M6 by M40 bolts part M through the plate and top of cart. Then loosely secure them with two small washers part C and M6 nuts part F. Next, insert two M6 by 50 millimeter bolts part K and loosely secure them with two small washers, part C and M6 nuts, part F. Now repeat for the other side. Next, insert the rear tongue tube, part 7, into the U-bracket on the axle tube, part 5. Now insert an M8 by 70 mm bolt, part H, and loosely secure it with a medium washer, part B, and an M8 nut, part E. Then align the rear tongue tube with the latch tube assembly, part 10, and loosely secure them with two M8 by 100 mm bolts, part G, two medium washers, part B, two medium washers, part B, and M8 lock nuts, part E. Next, insert the latch tube assembly and front tongue tube, part 12, into the connector pocket, part 11. Then loosely secure them with two M8 by 60 millimeter bolts, part I, two medium washers, part B, and two M8 nuts, part E. Next, align the tongue assembly. Now insert the short end of the axle spindle, part 6, through an axle plate and thread it into the axle tube until it's snug. Then loosen it slightly until the holes are aligned. Next, secure it with an M6 by 45 mm bolt, part L, and an M6 nut, part F. Now, repeat for the other side.
Then turn the cart right side up. Next, slide on a wheel with the air valve facing out. Now slide on a large washer, part A. And then thread on an M20 castle nut, part D. Tighten the castle nut. And then loosen it slightly to allow for free movement of the wheel and cotter pin alignment. Then insert a cotter pin, part N, and bend the ends out to secure it so the cotter pin can't fall out. Now, repeat for the other side. Next, fully secure all the fasteners. Do not over-tighten the bolts or crush the tubing. Then, grease both of the wheels with a grease gun. Next, ensure the tire pressure doesn't exceed the maximum tire pressure listed on the tire. Now, slide the tailgate part 3 into the channels. Then, insert the four side containment racks part 8 into the side tubes. Next, slide the front containment rack part 9 into place. Now, secure your cart to your tow vehicle with the clevis pin, part O, and the hair cotter pin, part P.